Hey everyone, this is Awesome Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Welcome back to Croc Blog channel. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a dynamic FAQ section like this. So there are tabs here, so these are FAQ categories. And then, so I'm using um, Jet tabs, and then here, those are accordions. So uh, with Jet tabs, so you can have those tab widget and then classic accordion. So I'm going to be using those two widgets today. So let's get started. First of all, you have to have this jet tabs. Okay, so let's go to settings here. And then widgets. So in this tutorial, so make sure you have classic accordion is on and tabs is on. So we need those two widgets today. And I already created an FAQ, that's a CPT, custom post type. And as you can see, so I have some entries here and I have FAQ type. So that's a taxonomy. And I have those three about a croc block and a refund, a cancellation and a subscription and license. So those are just taxonomies. All right. And then, so I already has these categories, those three categories here. Okay. And this uh, inside is pretty simple that the post title is just a question and the post content will be just the answer. All right, so just only two fields here. So first I'm gonna set up custom query using a query builder and let's go to jet engine and go to query builder. And I'm gonna have two types of queries. Okay, so let's hit the add a new. And the first one is I'm gonna set up uh, FAQ. So I'm gonna use FAQ term. And so basically here, so I'm gonna create some dynamic tab here. So those, those are uh, categories of taxonomy, right? So this is what I'm gonna set up now. So let's go to query builder. And then, so query, query type, it's gonna be terms query, right? And then with taxonomy, so I have created FAQ types. So I have, so right here. Okay, so pick this one, FAQ type. And let's take a look at the preview result. So should it be, yeah, so it should be like three taxonomies here, right? So about, and then refund, and the cancellation, and then subscription, and license, right? So I'm gonna just hit add query. All right, and then I'm going to add a new query. So add a new. So next one is I'm gonna call it the FAQ uh, post content. Okay. Now, so this query is used for like right here. So we have a question, this is title, and then so inside, so that's a content. Okay, so I'm gonna set up this query. So let's go back to query builder. So now the query type is post type, right? And and which post type? And I have FAQ right here. So this post type, FAQ, okay? And also I need to set up tax query. So add a new. And the taxonomy, so it's gonna be FAQ type, right? And the field is gonna be term ID. And the terms, so I'm gonna pick, uh, it's gonna be current ID right here. And so add a query. So what this does is go here. So because, you know, certain taxonomy here and then those uh, post type here, right? So it has to be, um, so this category is for this post type. So this category, different categories for this post type. Okay, so we have set this up. So that's why uh, we have to set up um, a tax query here. All right, so let's uh, preview result. So I have a seven post, I think that's right. So I got the seven post. Okay, so that's correct. Now we have to create a template. So let's first, let's create a template for FAQ content, okay? So let's go here and then I'm going to add a new template. So we're gonna select section, okay? And I'm gonna call it to uh, FAQ uh, post. 
content. Okay. And then, uh, so this is, I'm going to just uh, use text editor, just bring it here. Okay. And I'm going to use dynamic tags here. So it's going to be a current object field. And then the field is going to be uh, content. Okay, so post content. Okay, so I think, and then default object is fine. And go ahead and hit publish. So it's not going to show anything. That's okay. So that's just the one template here. It's called FAQ content. All right, so let's go back dashboard. And then next one. So let's create another one. Go to template and add a new. And then section. Okay, so I'm going to call it um, FAQ. Okay, create. All right, so I'm looking for classic accordion here. Okay, so this just drag and drop here. All right, so I can get rid of like those two and just leave it one. Now, so we're going to use Jet Engine query here. And which query? So we just created it's called FAQ post content. Okay, so we're going to use this post content. We use query builder to create this, right? And then, so let's go down here. Now, so the label, it's going to be, we're going to be picking the current object field. Okay. And which field? It's going to be title. Now I can explain to you. So just one second. I'm going to just put this in the side by side here. And then I'm going to put this side by side. So for classic accordion, so this says this is a title. And when you click it, and this part is the content. So when it says label here, so this has to be title. So that's why I'm picking title here. Okay. And the next one is here. So this is the content. So now the content type here. So I'll go back to the accordion section. So we're going to pick template here. And then remember that I created a template for FAQ post content section. Create a section template with Elementor. So pick this one. All right. So that's okay. It doesn't show anything right now. Okay. So let's uh, hit publish. So let's go back to dashboard. So let's just create a page uh, for FAQ page. So just hit add a new. And then, so I'm going to just uh, dynamic FQs and then edit with Elementor. And here, so I'm going to, I'm going to be using tab. Now make sure you use tab has kind of blue color on it, not uh, Elementor tabs. So this is a croc block tab. So just drag and drop here. Okay. So uh, you can get rid of the last two tab here. And then, so we're going to be using jet engine query. So turn this on and then we're going to be picking FAQ terms, right? So those tabs are going to be just showing um, our FAQ types which is a category or taxonomy. So we're going to be using FAQ term query. And then go back here, tab. So label is going to be uh, current object field. Okay. And the field is going to be term name. Okay. And then should show up, right? So it should up, up uh, those uh, FAQ taxonomy, right? And now the content type though, so go to template. And then remember that we created the uh, FAQ accordion, I think, accordion, oops. Yeah, that's our FAQ accordion section. Uh, we created that, so pick this. Okay, so now it's showing up here. Now let's go ahead and publish. Now let's take a look. So I'm gonna open up with a new tab. All right, so this is about a croc block. What page builder is croc block compatible with? And then, so we got all the content here. And then, so what about the refund cancellation policy? All right, so how and where can I cancel my subscription? So it's all here. And then sub subscription and license. So it's all here. Now let's test it out here. 
Okay, so on the right hand side, we got the front end for FAQ. And the left side, we have FAQ custom post type. And then uh, so we have about a croc block taxonomy. And then we got the two FAQs here. Okay, so I'm going to add a new. So hit that a new here. And the question is going to be, do I need Elementor Pro to work with croc block? And then the answer would be, no, you don't require Elementor Pro to work with our plugins. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit, oh, before that, I have to pick type here. Here is about croc block, so I'm going to use this category and go ahead and hit publish. And then refresh this page. So, all right, so it's here. Do I need? Okay. Hey, that's it for today. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And please subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching, and I, we hope to see you in the next video.